Natural language processing involves any task that requires a machine to work with language, i.e. if you are working with words, you are probably doing some form of NLP. Here I will discuss some of the popular NLP tasks that are often handled using deep learning models in the recent years, though of course many of these tasks existed prior to the advent of deep learning. I won't talk about how these tasks are solved, but just a familiarization with the task definitions. So let's start with machine translation. The task is in the name. The input to the model is a sentence from the source language, and the output of the model is the same sentence translated into the target language. In this example, we can see the English statement, I wonder if Apple would have been as successful if it had been called Peer instead. It's translated into Hindi. Mujhe aashcharya hai ki agar Apple iski jagah naashpati khelata, to kitna safal hota. Next, let's look at summarization. Summarization is where a concise version of a document is required. This NLP task comes in two flavors. There is extractive summarization and abstractive summarization. Extractive tends to just quote parts of the passage that act as the best summary for the whole document. This can often sound grammatically awkward, while abstractive summarization is generative, i.e. it is able to generate a novel sentence and hence is grammatically fluid. However, training abstractive summarization models is more challenging compared to its extractive counterparts. The task of question answering is also known as machine comprehension. The model is given two inputs, a question and a passage of text. The model essentially must be able to identify the answer to the question in the provided passage. In recent years, the task of question answering has been made more challenging as the passage may not contain the answer to the posed question and the model must be able to abstain from giving an answer. Sentiment analysis is a very popular NLP task, for example in automating the categorization of movies or book reviews by customers. In this example, we have a crude classification problem where the task is to identify whether the sentence is either positive or negative. In other words, we are extracting the type of sentiment present in the sentence. Speech recognition is a task that involves taking an audio recording and using a machine to automatically transcribe the audio recording to words that can then be further processed for some downstream task. Speech recognition is often considered a different era to NLP, as NLP usually deals with written text, while speech has the flexibility to handle richer features present in speech, such as hesitations, pronunciation, prosody, as well as the literal words used. One of the most traditional NLP tasks involves topic modeling. This can involve techniques such as latent Dirichlet allocation, LDA. The task itself requires identifying the main topics present in a document and the degree of presence of each topic. Another traditional NLP task is information extraction. The input to the model will be some document, for example, a news article. The model must be able to output the main information in the document in a structured format. This tabulating of the main data allows the important information to be processed using something like SQL for further downstream tasks. Hence, information extraction can be interpreted as a form of passing of a natural language passage into a simple structure. Finally, let's talk about text-to-speech, which is known as TTS or speech synthesis. This is the opposite of speech recognition, as the aim here is to take a written piece of text and produce an audio recording that appears to speak that text in a realistic manner. Note, TTS is usually split into two parts. The first part involves NLP, as the aim is to convert the text into a phonetic transcription. Then the second part takes these phonemes and passes it through a digital signal processing DSP unit to create the desired audio recording. Well, I've covered some of the main NLP tasks here, but there are lots more out there, and in fact, new ones do keep popping up too.